Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to do something classic for a platformer. We are simply going to do a little point system and some coins. And then in the next episode we are going to do some more classic stuff like a, a door where you press a button and then you will get transported to another room or level. So let's get started. So I'm just going to show you a simple demo of what we're going to do. So, wait a minute, I'm just going to find it. Here we go. Let it load. Nice, so you can see we have our coins here spinning and are all f nice. So, you can see our, we have a points up here and we can basically get more points, the more coins we pick up and I guess we are also going to do so when we kill this turret, we are going to get some points, so yeah. why the hell not? So let's do that. Um, and then we got this star that we're going to do in the next episode. So you can see when we go over to it, and there is a text down here that says E to enter. And when we press E, we will load another level. But in this case, it will only load the actual level. Or the, you just reload the level. Or restart. But I guess we're going to do another level, so let's get started. So, first off, let's open up Unity, of course. And we are basically going to set up our coins to start with. So, I made a little sprite here called uh, Coin that I will put up on Google Drive or Dropbox that you can download. So, that's basically it. So, uh, let's, uh, hmm, let's set the settings to the right thing. So we'll set the sprite mode to multiple and 18 because we, you know, and generate maps, we don't need that. Format, true color, and let's go, yeah, let's just apply. And let's set the slice and type to grid because uh, it's kind of like a grid, you know, and the individual sprite size is 10 pixels and so now we have these you know we have these coins so let's just uh, drag one in good and let's make the animation so go to window animation wherever it is here so uh, let's uh, click create and in animation click make a new animation called coin Oh, I already created one, so I'm just going to overwrite. So, uh, it's pretty basic. So, I'm just going to drag the sprites in. So, hold shift and click on the end one, and it will select all in between. And just uh, drag them in. And let's see. Yeah, this is going too fast. Hmm, to 20. So, I'm going to 20, and it's fine. It's good. So uh, now we just have to add a collider and a tag so we know if we collide with it. So uh, just click add component and search for collider 2D. Click on the box collider. We're just going to reduce the size. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can do it if you want. And just set it to is trigger. And now the only thing we need is to add a tag. Because, oh, I already did it, but, uh, it's just, what did I do? Oh, it's fine. Just remove that. And also remove this. And probably going to get some errors, but, uh, I'm just going to fix that. Um, but, back to the subject. So, we have to add a tag, so click add tag, and click on plus, And add a tag called coin. And go back to the coin and on the tag click coin. Good. So now we have added a tag called coin. So let's make a prefab. So right click and create a prefab. And I'm just going to delete the one that I already made. So um, right click prefab. Let's call this coin. Good. And drag the coin over to the coin. Nice. So now we have a coin which is pretty basic so now it's just duplicated so we 
have some more coins, of course. We just see. Good. Nice. And then we want to do our uh, text for the sprite. So we're going to need another object called a game master. And that will just have the points in the game. So that will just display the points. So not really display it, but uh, change a text on a UI object. So uh, just create an empty game object called game master and we will create a, a script later. So now we have to go onto our canvas and let's just create a new, what should we say, a new UI text. And as you can see it is really blurry, we are going to fix that in a moment. So just drag it up to the corner and change the color to white so we can see something or maybe to yellow because it's just like a point counter. It doesn't really matter, it's personal preference or what looks best for you. And then we're just going to make this sharper. So the way we're going to do that is click, uh, set the horizontal overflow to overflow. Same for the vertical. And then we will just set the font size to something big and scale it down. That is a pretty nice fix. And yeah, let's just set this to nothing. Good, so let's just rename it to... Uh, point text. Good. So that text is going basically going to be changed to the amount of points we have. So, yeah. Uh, now let's just create the script for the game master and the actual coin detection for our player. So let's just go on and click uh, create and C script and let's call this game master. Uh, and now we just have to drag it onto the game master, which is nice. And we get an error here. What is this? Oh, this is some other stuff. So, yeah, uh, wait a minute. Okay, good. Uh, so, we still have to add a tag to the game master. So, we actually can't access the. Uh, you know, reference it. We're going to see when you script it. So, just click add tag and game master. Good. So, here game master. Good. Now let's get into our script. So this ain't going to be very hard to do. Just uh, delete everything here, and we need a variable called pop like uh, integer, say points for our points, obviously, and then we need. A, uh, we need to say something up here. We need to say using uh, Unity Engine. Just zoom in so you can see something. Uh, dot UI. And that is so we can access the uh, namespace for the new UI system. So uh, let's create another variable, and that's going to be for the text. So public text. Uh, let's call this point text. Good. That is also very basic. So let's create a function, a void update. And what we're going to do in here is basically setting the point text equals to a new string. And that is going to be, uh, let's say, point, colon, and space, and then plus uh, uh, points. So yeah, uh, the integer is basically a, you know, one, two, three. It can't be anything. Uh, like can only be whole numbers. So let me see. What? Oh, so we have to say points dot text dot text because we want to change the text on the text object. Okay, so let's see if that works. So now we just have to assign the actual text to the. Game master, so let's do that. Drag the point text over to the thing, and then uh, see what is going on over there. Oh, that is really weird. I'm just going to fix that in a moment. Uh, yeah, just uh, increase this points value, and you can see down here that the points are increasing. 
Good, so now we got that going for us. So now let's do the uh, stuff for the player. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh well. <laughs> well. We're going to find out what's going on later on. So go into our player script. And basically what we're going to do here is uh going to remove this. We're going to say void on trigger enter. And you probably should know what this does because we've done it a lot of time in this tutorial series. So when we uh enter the a trigger, this is going to be called. So if the Collider that we are entering is a uh, has detect or oh, has detect uh, uh, coin. Then we want to first off we want to destroy the actual coin. So uh, the destroy function does so it destroys an object. So let's just say uh, the collider that we are com uh, colliding with dot game object. So we don't delete the uh, collider component on the object, but the actual whole game object. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, now we are just going to increase the points value. And we're going to do that by referencing the game master. So private game game master with a uh, non-capital G because that is the name of our script. And let's just call that GM. And then we're going to say uh, game object find and small g over here. So, oh, we're just going to remove this and make it for you guys. GM equals to game object dot uh, find dot find game object with tag and game master. That is the tag that we created before. And we're going to say dot get component because we want to get the component of that game object as called game master. Good. Nice. So now we can say gm dot points plus equals to one because we want to increase it by one. So that was pretty simple. Let's see. Why is there an error? Oh, I need a semicolon. Good. Uh, hmm. I don't know what's going on to that coin. I'm just going to check again. Why is it doing that? Have I messed up the animation? Oh yeah, I have. I am stupid. So I'm just going to fix that. Ah, sorry guys. Good, so that should fix it. Nice. Click apply on it so it applies to all of them because it is a prefab. So I should fix it. Good. Now that is fixed. And now let's just jump over and collect with them. You can see they get destroyed and the counter for the points increases. Good. So uh, hmm, now let's just do so when this uh, turret gets killed, it will increase the points. Uh, we're going to do that in a rather simple way. Uh, we're just going to reference the game master, so private game master with a small g, gm, and on the awake or start doesn't really matter. In this case, we want to set the gm to game object dot find game object with tag, and that is going to be the game master dot get component and it's going to be the game master component that we created and that's basically it so now let's get down to where we check if the health if is under zero or equals zero so that is right here and then we just want to say the gm dot points plus equals to a amount of points let's say 10 10 for killing a turret Good. And we're doing this because the turret can can't 
get killed by anything else than the player, so... Yeah. Let's see if it works. Let's go over to our... And kill it. And you saw that the points got increased to 16. Which is nice. So, that worked. And that is basically it for the coins and a small point system. And for the next episode we are just going to do a door for uh, uh, loading another level. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.